Picture this, you're selling your beautiful home, but for some reason your offers aren't as high as your neighbor's identical home. Why is no one interested? What could have been done better? It's very common nowadays for sellers to leave money on the table during their home sale. Capturing your home's best selling features and maximizing the sale price can help you and your family better achieve your goals. Hi, I'm Eli Bader with Analyze That, and today I'm here to help you break it all down with the seven steps to home selling. But before we get into it, please like and subscribe my channel below. Well, step number one all starts with pricing. The first step of selling any home is taking the time to discover a realistic price range for your property. With buyers more knowledgeable than ever, hitting the market at the wrong price can ruin everything. So to ensure confidence in the value of your property, I would offer you two pieces of advice. The first is you want to compare your home to others in the area that have recently sold. Many sellers and their agents mistakenly only compare currently active homes, not realizing that many of those are going to have varying results. And number two, don't be afraid to acknowledge that not all homes are equal. Take into account when homes have different styles or different features and make adjustments to the value. Remember, even the greatest marketing can't engage buyers if the price is wrong. Step number two is condition. Of course, ensuring your home can get you top dollar means making sure the property is in top condition. Taking all the recently sold homes into consideration will provide you with a reasonable selling range. Upgrading and improving your home will move you up that pricing range. Don't worry, I don't always mean a full renovation. What I do mean though, is taking a close look and determining what needs to be clean, decluttered, and at least considering the lowest cost, highest return projects first for the best bang for your buck. Step number three is staging your property. Once your home is ready, it's time to consider staging. Typical property buyers have limited vision, but staging a space both inside and out can clarify what's possible. While it's always best to hire a professional staging company for the best results, it's still possible and important to stage your home by yourself. Start by thinking that less is more. Your personal belongings may be interesting, but they're also distracting. The best approach is to think like a developer and neutralize the palette for the buyer's vision. Sometimes you can transform the space by simply cleaning and rearranging a few things. And that brings me to step number four, marketing. Although the internet offers more exposure, your listing is the equivalent of a speck in the ocean and isn't necessarily being seen by serious buyers. Proper presentation will help it stand out from the competition. Depicting the space in its best light and capturing this amazing work with professional photography and video. Then we digitize and syndicate this listing across all online platforms and other agents. Optimizing the most effective marketing and re-engaging with interested parties will prompt them to take action. A clear and honest presentation will weed out the casual lookers and better attract genuine buyers. A combination of the right price and marketing that creates excitement and scarcity is the best way to drive the sales price to its highest point possible. Step number five, communication. A fear of loss or of being taken advantage of is another obstacle to overcome when selling your home. It's critical that you're honest with yourself and others. When you hire a professional agent to guide you, choose wisely so that you feel safe and comfortable with open communication. Remember, no matter how high your motivation, no one can force you to sell your property. It's best to approach the process as a business transaction that it is. Take post-showing feedback from buyers and use it to improve the listing. Don't be defensive, just listen to the critique and communicate with your agent on your next moves. Step number six, and my personal favorite, is negotiation. The biggest mistake that sellers make during negotiation is being unprepared. The best negotiators are the most prepared. It's important to discuss what can happen with your agent so that you'll never be surprised. Study the potential trading range and understand most buyers will be starting at the lower end. When you're aware of this range, it can help avoid reacting negatively to lower offers. Prepare yourself to counter any and all offers, even if it's just a token counter to keep the discussion moving along. Harsh negative responses from sellers and more potential deals than anything else. Every buyer needs to experience their own process and many will increase offers dramatically when they encounter a positive, inviting reaction. Remember that everybody has to agree in the end, so it's best to put yourself in a win-win mindset. And lastly, step number seven, closing. Once a contract has been agreed upon and signed, there are many details that must be accounted for. If a deadline cannot be met, it's important to secure the proper extensions. Stay focused. You should be arranging for a moving company so that you can meet the conditions of the closing date, which typically includes delivering the property in a professionally clean condition. This date creeps up on you, so don't delay. Be flexible and anticipate challenges. To avoid any undue stress, expect and prepare for timeline adjustments. Together with your agent, you can navigate the complex intricacies of selling a home and walk away happy. But what do you think? 
If you have any additional questions or would like to schedule a seller consultation, please feel free to reach out. And for more videos on Bay Area Living, check out my website, my channel, and subscribe below. Thanks for watching. I'm Eli Bader with Analyze.